Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to send SMS using STM32 Cube IDE with uh, this SIM 7600 module. It looks like this. It got seven pins. Uh, we use only four pins. And the other side. We got 4G antenna here, 3G antenna here, and GPS antenna here. And we can optionally supply power from the USB connector, but we use this four pin, the V pin to supply five volt power. SIM card holder is here. We can open like this. It's open. We put the SIM in here and Put it here and we push this side like this and we close it for the antenna we use 4g antenna i used this antenna it worked it's good i use this one also this is also it's good it worked if it is far away distance we may need to use uh, something like this one or even better, this antenna, it can connect if the signal tower is more far away. Or if it is too much far away, you can use log periodic antenna, this one. It got N type connector and it got SMA on top of it. Let's uh, Connect the antenna and SIM card and we see. Now I have connected the antenna and I put the SIM card inside. Just to test whether everything is good, I put the USB cable and I'm going to power it on. When it power it on, first red LED comes, it switch on and then it automatically Search for the network, it will connect. After for a while, we will see the green LED, green LED is on, it's blinking. I show you. Yeah, red LED is here, green one is flashing. So which means it's all good, it's all connected. The antenna is good and the SIM card also good. Now we connect to the STM32 board. STM32 is here. I have four cables and the SIM module. We plug it here. And the, the last pin is ground. Connect to ground. Next pin is R, we connect to A9. Don't worry about it, I will give you a picture in the description. Next one is T, T connect to A10. The next pin is K, we don't need to connect. Other one is V, we connect to 5 volt power supply. Next two pin G and S, we don't need to connect anywhere. Uh, sorry about the fiddling. Uh, I just managed to take the picture. Yeah, it's like this. And I have a small wire coming from here to here under for the ground rail. So that's why I put the ground wire here. Uh, now the diagram is here. You can he have a look. That's in the description. Now click to the ST link. Uh, sorry, connect to the ST link and open the uh, cube ID. I have already opened it. Put the part number F103C8.
this one and uh, select this one the uh, part number is this and uh, click next give a name uh, i give sim and click finish while this one is loading i have given a uh, in in, a, in the description i have given a website address and go to that website address i will just go here this one and when you open it I, I have written something here you can read through and the diagram is here and picture is here and here is the cube id setting and the code is here yeah you don't need to type you can copy and paste like this you can copy and paste let's go and see the cube ide uh, still there uh, wait for a while please uh, it's, it's done now uh, click system core click sys uh, for the debug click serial wire and connectivity click connectivity and use art one click it and mode is asynchronous now the board rate is 11 5200 the same board rate the sim module use so no need to change anything all good click save yes yes now when this one load we go to uh, use a code begin includes we have to go to use a code begin includes uh, when it's ready we can go there use a code begin include when you go below yeah it's here here we need to include hash include string dot h and also hash include stdio dot h uh, and and for the uh, next one we need to go to user code begin two yeah this one and click it here and we need to type some code and uh, it's a long code I I can go there to the web address and this one you already done this is the user code begin to so you copy from here copy from here until user code end to this one we copy all of them copy it and uh, go there and paste it now what this done does is the mobile number you need to put the mobile number this number is not the mobile number in the sim module that's the other mobile number where you want to send the um, sms you change this number and here the while loop is here it's it checks whether the uh, sim module is on and all, all okay when it's okay it goes to the next step it goes to this step and then it set it at plus cmgf is one and then at plus cmgs is the mobile number and it sends the message now click save and click uh, compile Yeah, will finish zero error zero warning so all good so when you can go to uh, this uh, run button or uh, debug button and upload the code to the stm link uh, through st link to the stm32 now i have uploaded the code let's connect to the power supply and it will start on I hope as soon as it start it will send a SMS and we will receive in the phone the red light is on 
the green is blinking the sim mode will started yeah i got the message thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and share thank you